Hi guys, welcome back and hey to everyone that is new. So we are doing a collective reading today on what are your person that you're asking about intentions for you. So just to let you know that collective readings are for the collective. So if you are looking for individual readings and individual questions, you can find me on Mystic Love Tarot on Instagram, on my website um, and Facebook as well, just Mystic Love Tarot. I do have a blue tick on Instagram. I got a blue tick. Um, so yeah, you can just go and find me um, and we can look at your questions individually. So today is all about their intentions for you. So the person that you're asking about. And if you are drawn to watch this video, that is because it is for you. Okay. Now something that I'm going to do, which is a little bit more special today, and I felt the need to do it, is I'm going to use two of my personal decks. Never used before in readings for you guys. These are my decks and I'm very, very special with them, but it feels like an occasion to share. It feels like a monumental occasion to share these decks with you today. So this is deck number one, which is the Rider Waite, and this is the deck number two, which is the Pagan Tarot, both of which are my personal, personal decks. Pick the deck. Pick the deck. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Felt like I needed to leave that a bit longer. Okay, let's go. So it'll work on the mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. So, who doesn't own a pair of Ride Away? Well, a deck of Ride Away. Um, they've been in my hands for years and years and years. Uh, probably nearly as old as I am. <laughs> Well, but I just felt like I wanted to use them for you guys today. Just share some of my, my personal magic with you. What are their intentions for you guys watching? And let's go. So for those of you that read tarot, you've got the King of Cups. You've got the Eight of Cups. They also are extremely truthful. <laughs> you've got the Three of Cups. Cups, Cups, Cups. You've got Justice. And let's get one more. And you've got the seven of cups. So right off the bat, guys, you have got this very, very emotional card spread coming up. Cups are always to do with emotions and they're always to do with feelings and they are linked to the element of water. Now, water is ever flowing. River is flowing, flowing and growing down to the sea. So everything is always moving and it's always emotions. Our emotions kind of peak and wave like the tides. So we have a very emotional connection going on. Now, where you guys are currently, you're probably in a lack of communication, walked away from the situation, not speaking to one another, putting your back to it all, and debating what are your choices that are going to happen next. You really don't know what to go on, what's going on here, and your person is feeling that as well. So, there are deep feelings for you, as we can see by the abundance of cups coming up in this spread. There are deep feelings for you, but your person just doesn't know how to manage them or what they want from the situation, okay? So when we're asking about their intentions, the overall feeling is a sense of confusion. I don't know what I want. I've took a step back. And you guys are probably watching this thinking, yeah, I feel like I've had whiplash. They've been backwards and forwards. They've been coming and going. I don't really know what pathway I'm meant to be treading or what direction I'm meant to be going down. So you've got this this complete confusion. Now what Spirit just said to me there, which is why I stumbled, is they also said the word elation. So whilst you have this confusion going on with the situation, when your person does communicate with you and does communicate their emotions, you do have this elation that comes with it. So you might find a little bit of an addiction type energy going on, a little bit of toxicity sometimes where you have this mega pull towards your person and then you get what you want or, or they give you something and then you, they pull away and you feel like, like I said, you've got a bit of whiplash. Your person just doesn't really know what they want. Now, with the other side of things, you've got justice and the three of cups. So there is this kind of karmic energy going on between you guys. If you have had previous lifetimes together, you probably have got this state of karma that has gone on and you, you're part of the reason. And if you want to look at it in life purpose readings or past life readings, let me know. Um, but part of the reason why this could be happening is because of this karmic energy being retributed. You've got 
uh, Spirit saying to me, <laughs> you know I'm a Swifty, but they just said all's fair in love and war, not, not all's fair in love and poetry. Um, best way for me to explain karma with regard to past lives, um, and it is a bit heavy, but it's one lifetime you would be the murderer and the next lifetime you would be the victim, okay? So you've got this karmic energy which lands with this confusion over here. These two linked together. Gonna see these? <laughs> got full of allergies today <laughs> i mean full of allergies the last couple of weeks but today i just like can't stop sneezing um karmic energy okay now the other side of this is your person might be going through some battles maybe some kind of legal battles might be going on with them at this moment in time um all battles within the mind and it's like they are trying to work out what is the right pathway for them and what they are doing with their own lives so when it comes to you and the love that they have for you which we can see with all the cups coming up they have this state of confusion as well so basically what's happening is they're getting trying to get their shit together so that they can see where the connection is going to go with you and with the three of cups over here we have this kind of celebration energy but we also have i'm keeping my options open i'm not doing any commitment i just want to see where things go and for now like i said they're taking a bit of a step back okay there are emotions here as well with the king of cups very strong feelings very important you guys listen to your intuition on it all um with regard to intentions, they just want to have a bit, of, probably a bit of time out, let everything settle, let dust settle if there's been confusion and arguments, let all of that settle and then from there they can progress themselves forward whichever pathway they want but at the moment the, well, whatever pathway you guys want, at the moment the intentions are very mixed up and very confused but what is very clear with all out of five cards you've got four cups there are very strong emotions here or well, very strong emotions because there's very strong sense of confusion and they don't really know how to progress with that and that is what is happening with deck number one so intentions really are i'm just going to go with the flow of it i'm going to see what happens i'm going to ride it out and i'll see where i end up and that's deck number one Okay, so we're going to scoot over to deck number two. Hello, my loves. If you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, uh, this is a collective reading on what your person's intentions are for you. And we are using two of my personal tarot decks, unused before in public readings. And I just felt the need to share a bit of part of my life with you. You know, these decks are so close to my heart. Um, because they are my decks. So I just, I really felt the need to want to share that with you all this morning. Probably might not happen again. <laughs> so enjoy it while it lasts. Right, what are their intentions for you? Intentions with the situation. I just said with deck number one, I've got me allergies going on as well. So if I'm a bit sniffly. I'm allergic to tree pollen, you know, it comes up this time of year, which is really weird for a girl that's always outside. Um, um, yeah, I'm allergic to tree pollen, not plant pollen. So always at the start of the year, April, May, I always get sneezy. Um, come June, it's normally gone. What are their intentions? Okay. Right, so you've got a bit of a mixed bag as well. So deck number one was a bit of a mixed bag. You guys have got a bit of a mixed bag as well. So for those of you that read tarot, you've got the Queen of Pants, You've got the seven of wands, you've got death, <laughs> you've got hermit, and you've got justice. So this is going to be a bit of a heavier reading, guys. So if you um, want to look at your individual circumstances, do drop me a message on Instagram or Facebook. Um, and those of you that, you know, that this might give a little bit of an ouchie to some of you guys, if you're not ready, suggest that you, you know, perhaps this isn't the right time to watch the video just as a bit of a heads up so where you guys are and your person's intentions they have surrendered and released the situation with you at the moment and with the queen of pentacles i actually feel that you guys might be hanging on to it at this point in time surrendering and releasing the situation and transforming it so it's like it's hit um spirit just showed me um persephone don't know if you know the story of Persephone and do apologise um, for my mythology if I get it wrong 
a little bit. But uh, Persephone was married, she married to Hades, who's the god of, god of the underworld, and she was tricked to go down there by eating pomegranate, and pomegranate for you guys, it's very good fruit for love. So if you are wanting to bring this relationship back round, get the pomegranate, pomegranate in, eat it. Make potions and things of it, <laughs> just as a heads up. Anyway, so <laughs> Hades tricked her. She ate pomegranate, and she she ended up marrying him, and she ended up being stuck in the underworld for six months of the year, which is the darker side of the year. And then come the spring, it came back to life. She came back to life. She came back to earth. And then every six months, she has to go into the underworld. Okay, that's the gist of it. Apologies if I've got it wrong um, in any way, shape, or form. But that that's kind of the gist of it. So what's coming up here is this transformation between death and rebirth and it's really kind of aligning with the pagan calendar and pagan wheel of the year which you can't see over here but we're going to be hitting into Beltane soon which is this well we're already in spring but it's kind of the start of festivities and joy and happy things happening so even though this situation with death is going on and you're feeling like oh it's all come to a bit of a close the chance for it to rebound and bounce back can happen, but it will be in the kind of spring pagan month. So you're looking at Beltane, you're looking at Midsummer, and potentially moving towards Lunasa with the Pomegranate and Persephone link, okay? Your person has been feeling, with the seven of wands over here, they've been feeling a little bit stuck by the situation, and it feels like they felt like they had to defend themselves. So you've probably had conflict, you've probably had tension, you've probably had arguments, you probably had your person just really peeing you off. Um, and they felt like they have to defend themselves for the choices and the actions that they have made. And because of that, they've got so pissed off with this situation or feeling that they're pissed off with it, that they're like, right, I'm out of it, done. Okay. Now, I do feel after some reflection with the Hermit and Justice coming up as well, I do feel with some reflection, this is what can bounce back. And I will pull some cards to, to see what's going to happen next. Um, but at the moment, your person is like, I've took a step back from this situation. I had the same quote in deck number one because they also had Justice. Um, but it's all's fair in love and war. And it's kind of this energy of the two of you linking in together. So backwards and forwards, round and round, a little bit of a merry-go-round. And if you guys have been here before, then don't panic. It isn't, it isn't over between the two of you. But it does need this reflection of the situation because things can't go on the way that they have. Your person is very hoity-toity, Spirit is saying, very uptight. Doesn't take a joke very well. If they feel like they're being personally attacked, they throw the spanner in and it kind of comes back to childhood issues for quite a few of you guys. Um, so you've got that sense of confusion that comes from that as well. Now, other things to mention on here is you've got three major arcanas out of five cards. So this is a big deal, okay? This is a big deal to them. They aren't taking this lightly. So if you're thinking they've totally and utterly forgotten you and vanished into the sunset, they haven't. They are still thinking about you, but they're very, being very, very headstrong over it at this point in time, okay? And they're trying to get to a place where they are indifferent. They're not indifferent at the moment, but they're like, well, I'm going to forget that you existed. I'm going to go to a place where I feel totally indifferent about it all. Um, but at the moment, they're just not there. They're not there. So you are very much in their thought process. With regard to intentions, at the moment, they're like, well, I'm taking a step back. So let's just go into the future and see what's likely going to happen between you guys. I told you my personal deck can be very brutal. Ace of Pence, that's good. Future. Oh, three of Swords. Uh, let's get one more for your future with them. Okay. So we've got the full moon illuminating things. Um, stuff is going to come to light, okay? Situations are going to come to light. So if you've been wanting to hear the truth of a certain situation and you haven't heard it yet, be prepared that you will be hearing truths of situations. And this could potentially lead to heartbreak, okay? So you're going to be going for a bit of a, a, a tough time with this person. There's a bit of a difficult time going on. Now, with the Ace of Pentacles and the nine of pence over here. We have got stability and security, but it looks like you guys might decide that you wanna do it alone and this isn't the right person for you. Now, again, that is your collective energy, okay? You have a choice. 
you always have choices, you have free will, you can conduct this situation in whichever way, form and direction you want. As Dr. Zeus said, you have a brain in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can go whichever direction you choose. So I want you to be aware of that. So collective energy is that you might take a step back from this and think, you know what, Sodger, I'm off, I can't be dealing with this. You've hurt me too much, truth's come to light. I'm better off going my own way till the right person comes into my direction. So that's the future energy for your collective at this point in time. Ouchie, I know, I told you it would be a little bit sore, a bit painful, um, but you know, that that is what the cards are saying. And if you want us to look at it individually, again, this is your collective, if you want us to look at it individually, you can just give me a shout. There are strong feelings over here, okay? There are strong feelings, but it's like the truth of it all has to be revealed to you. Um, and at this point in time, it's like, it's just, you're just not quite there. The Ace of Pence and the Nine of Pence as well, giving me strong foundations for future new beginnings with you. So you guys watching, there's great new beginnings going your way, but is it gonna be with this person that you are asking about? That's the question that we would need to explore on individual readings interesting but at the moment they've took a step back so their intentions are just kind of like I'm just going to chill with it and forget that that ever happened um however how long can you hide from truth and how long can you hide from reality before it comes and smacks you in the face any amount of time before karmic debt gets repaid and we we saw the card of karma as well right so karmic debt kind of getting repaid here um and if you have been really hurt by this person and you are feeling that very strong ouchie in your heart, do know <laughs> that karma does come around. It can take up to 10 years of mine. Just bear that in mind as well. But it will come back around eventually. It will come back around. It always does. So that's why you've got to be a good person and look after those, you know, that need you and live a life of love. And uh, I won't say love and light, but live a, <laughs> live a life of love. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you next week. Uh, many, many blessings to you all. Uh, and by the way, yeah, the baby's fine. Thank you for asking. I love you, Mystic Tribe. See you soon. Ciao.